Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do a little home goods shop with me. Probably go to Target too. Super excited. I'm not going to buy anything because it's supposed to be not by January, but of course if I find something, I'm gonna bring it home with me. But anyways, let's get into the video.
Okay, friends, we're finally home from Home Goods. I'm gonna show y'all the stuff I got. I know I said it's not by January, but you know when you go to Home Goods, if you find something, you have to purchase it, otherwise it won't be there. So, anyways, I have been on the hunt for the larger vases that have like the wide openings. And this, the Pottery Barn dupes that I showed y'all, ooh, are the perfect example. Y'all see how thick that opening is, or how wide the opening is? And I really wanted to use this in our bedroom. I'm gonna start putting either some dried out flowers or some real flowers in these vases and sit them upstairs. I'll probably end up adding like a plastic vase in here to hold the water so it doesn't actually like mess up the actual vase itself. I think there's a medium version that goes in between the two of these. Here is the smaller version. So I think the small version is under $100 on Pottery Barn. The bigger one, which I think is considered like their large vase, <laughs> it is like $99 on the website. This was $30 and this one was $16.99. I think that's a really good price because it's super heavy, which y'all know to me means good quality. I said it all the time. It's Urbania Living. Anyways, this one was $29.99, but I loved the exterior of this book. And then when I flipped through it, it had like those really bold pictures. Like this is more of like an organic book. I am really attracted to like the organic raw look of like decor and stuff because I just feel like it's effortless. It doesn't scream like showroom to me it just looks i don't know just like natural <clears throat> this particular vase which i got from home get i mean from h&m if i styled it like this that's one way but if it has nice pictures on the inside if i wanted to like refresh my coffee table i could actually end up opening this you can get one of those acrylic stands or like the black stands whatever type of stand you want it and have it like this or you could lay it flat on the table and put like a magnifying glass or something like that or like a paperweight a nice decorative paperweight on top of it and maybe like a vase to the side or something like that and this is like the perfect example of like some of the nice pictures that they actually have in this book um the other thing is whenever these books come with like covers don't count it out just based on the removable cover take the removable cover off of it even if it's wrapped in plastic undo it remove the cover and see what it looks like without that particular cover because sometimes especially if you're new if you're a neutral person the cover may have like color in it but when you remove it it could be like a neutral color like this but i actually love this book so i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but we're gonna see there were a couple of other things that i seen there like that blue vase that was really textured y'all if that was a more neutral color if i had like blues inside of my house I would have got it because it was such good quality and the texture of it was just so like i don't know like in your face there was a lot of like organic things that i've seen there that i felt like would be really light and nice like the vase that i showed y'all that was taller with the things on the outside i wasn't a fan of the things on the outside but if you were looking for like if you were selling a shelf and it was like just really unique organic pieces on there i feel like that would just look so nice as like a standalone unique piece but let's go ahead and go style these around the house really quickly. I actually bought me some roses yesterday. I got a whole bunch of sets of roses in here, but I bought some specifically for this because what I want to do is put roses in here like shorter and sit this as a centerpiece on the kitchen table in the breakfast nook area. And then for the bigger one, I'll probably end up taking this up to our room because there's a vase in our room currently that I kind of want to try it out. 